If there's one thing in today's society that we can't seem to escape, it's dopamine. It keeps us constantly glued to our phone screens. It leaves many of us feeling completely lost or stuck in life. We're unable to pay attention to the things going on around us. What have I told you this was initially designed, engineered by the business owners and corporations out there in order to keep our minds constantly racing at 100 miles per hour. Well, I was tired of letting these things affect my life, and I wanted a solution and a way to reclaim control of my mind. I knew that in order for my life to get any better, things had to change, and that's exactly why I'll be sharing how this dopamine detox helped change my life. You see, dopamine in itself isn't something bad in our lives. It's the reason we can explore and find these new places. It allows us to have these amazing adventures in our lives that we normally wouldn't have. It encourages us to seek new places and areas of our minds previously we haven't ever discovered, to enjoy and feel the new things for us to remember. But what I wanted to know was how to use the source of dopamine and drive in our brains to apply to our real lives? How could I use this source of motivation and energy and apply to my work in real life to produce meaningful results for myself? And it was tough because everywhere I looked, it seemed like there were more and more distractions, endless streams of things lighting up and calling my name, all while living in a digital world that continues to expand and become more part of our lives every day that goes on. I needed to figure out with this dopamine reset what were the steps I needed to take control of my mind again and to have that focus that I needed in order to do meaningful work once more. And for it not only to be a short-term hack or solution, but something that was gonna work long-term for me. You see, if you're watching this video like me, it's probably not that you don't want to do these things, it's that I couldn't quite get my mind to lock in. But at the time, I didn't understand how all these high dopamine activities I was letting into my mind affected me. And when our brains are constantly turned up to such a high level, it's hard for our brains to focus on anything right in front of us. But the first thing I knew I needed to get under control were my temptations. You see, when we engage in certain activities, we activate dopamine in our brains. A sense of energy is sent from our nerves down a channel to our brain's neural system. There, our nerve cells release energy and spark parts of our brain that weren't previously lit up. This can happen from using our smartphones or indulging in some of our favorite delectable sugary foods. We get a sensory overload in our brains when we engage in activities, such as consuming junk food or give in to our adult temptations that provide an erupting flow of sensation throughout our bodies that overwhelm and take control of our ability to reward ourselves from the usual things we need to get done. But how do we find control of our bodies again? First is understanding the frame of mind we must have. We live in a world where temptation appears everywhere, and we must be conscious in how much time we constantly consume. How much time do we actually spend engaging in these different activities? Set a time for yourself. Be conscious of the time you spend instead of allowing yourself to be constantly sucked into the endless screens and devices like everyone else. Be frugal with your time, because it's your life you're giving up for these things. Write the things down you're doing with your time. See if it aligns with the places that you want to go with your life. Question the decisions you make on a day-to-day -day basis of what you decide to spend your time doing. And when you begin to be conscious of your time, you begin to question why for everything. You ask yourself, why are you engaging in all these activities like scrolling on social media, for hours and hours engaging in these things that aren't helping your life. Sometimes all you need is that moment to pause and self-reflect to allow your mind to catch up to your surroundings instead of stuffing it with another bandage for boredom. Pause for a moment, because that's how you really find yourself again sometimes, where you can rediscover yourself and real interests so that you can work on your greatest works Without endless distractions always weighing you down, you could become your truest self and construct the life that you actually wanted. And we must find what works for each of us. How we build this mental fortitude 
where we create a barrier to not give in to the temptations out there and allow it to poison our life. And this isn't easy. One of the things I still struggle with to this day is the use of social media. When I'm on my phone and I see it light up with notifications, I can't help but check sometimes. And when I make these YouTube videos and I go and look at other creators to get inspiration and draw creativity from, I get sucked into watching hours of videos that I can't help myself. It's hard because I'm trying to learn and create these videos, but at the same time, I must watch and draw inspiration from other great creators. But I think it's important to remember that the journey isn't exactly going to be all straight uphill. Everything must happen in balance. It's okay to introduce these things into our life and not to live in total monk mode. However, it's when we have overconsumption and don't allow for the counteract of boredom into our lives. Because with boredom, we allow our minds to reset and find what is called a default mode for our brains. That can again spark curiosity. It allows us again to focus on one task, work on something for hours that will deliver a meaningful reward for our lives. We need time away from all the noise sometimes because it allows us to process and think about what matters to us. Alignment and without being so hard on yourself to get back to a style of play that you have not had since childhood, to remember what it was like just to live again. And so you might have some days where you feel down, but it's about understanding how to navigate it, how to bring yourself up. And I know that some of you out there were gonna struggle with this because I struggle with this myself. I find myself getting distracted or falling into my old bad habits that I once had, but it's about replacing these old bad habits with better habits in our lives and it's the consistency of each day making that incremental improvement that's going to help our lives for the long run and it's about framing our minds and setting ourselves up for success rather than falling into the old ways of just giving up and giving into our temptations and distractions all around us because it's the people who always put it off till tomorrow that are gonna fail and never reach what they really wanted. And to remember the most important things in your life and the reasons behind why you do things. This is what will allow you to continue walking through life even with all the noise and distractions that go on around you. If life were meant to be one dimensional, it would be so. All these things around us aren't a detriment, but rather a gift for us to explore new things. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this video because I know like many of you, I can feel incredibly stuck sometimes in my life with all the things going on around me. But I wanted to remind each of us that life is short and that we should go out there and enjoy all that life really has to offer us.